All right then, so uh, I'm gonna do a quick video on audio. Um, a follow-up question to the slidey door one that we did, which was this one, the bifold door. Question was, how do you get audio to play with the animation? Um, and this goes for any door, uh, not just this particular one, but we're gonna use this one as the example. And uh, so let's get into this. All right, so we're in Unreal. First of all, you need to get yourself a uh, audio file. So the best place for that is freesound.org. Uh, everything on here is free. Uh, do pay attention to the license though. Um, I typed in sliding and I got surprising amount of results. They have sliding doors and wardrobe doors. So for this one, I'm gonna use this wardrobe door one as uh, an audio file um, you need to create a license uh, sorry um, an account and then you can download check here though always pay attention to these licenses this is creative commons zero which means you can do whatever you want with it without even giving credit but I do like to give credit so kudos to Tom Pallant for this particular sound uh, let me play it for you And that's that um, obviously it's a bit long so we're gonna need, need to cut it down it does say it's two seconds long it tells you oh no it's five seconds long ah, okay oh yeah it's five seconds long all right then so we're gonna need, need to cut that down anyway so download it and then we will get going on that so the next piece of software you're gonna want again is free this is audacity um, just do a Google search if you haven't heard of it before audacity is free to use forever so download and install that and then we're gonna drag our audio sample in and there it is so first we're gonna to want to chop off the beginning just select it and press delete and then if you put your cursor somewhere it tells you down here whereabouts it is we want to get it to around two seconds there we are that's close enough and then we can select the rest of it and delete that too and then of course if we play it from the beginning it just kind of cuts off at the end so we want to just select in there and then go to effects and fade out so it fades out now if we play it much better that will serve our purpose so now we want to click file export export as a wave file because unreal does not recognize mp3s so a wave file and it has to be 16 bit so make sure you've got 16 bit in there give it a name door slide sfx sound effects right hit enter and you get another dialog box here you can fill your details in there if you want to otherwise just click ok and that's that all right back in unreal we're gonna want to make a folder for sound effects let's just right click add folder sounds or whatever you want to call it uh, let's drag in our wave file that we just created there it is and you can play it by hovering over there um, right so what we're going to want to do is right click it and click uh, create queue and that will automatically uh, create one and name it for us and the queue is basically just a setup of, it's on the wrong screen just showing the input there that's the audio file and then the output you can add effects in here uh, but we're not going to get into that today because we don't need effects um, click save on that and close it and then where is our that is let's open our, our blueprint of the door and there it is so you're going to be surprised at how easy this is first of all let's go to the viewport and add a component of an audio there you go play audio and then a little speaker pops down there we can select off that a little speaker pops down there um, so that's going to be our little audio speaker uh, what we need to do is in the files we need to right click and go to sounds and made a audio attenuation and we can call this 
our door slide attenuation open that up and that gives you some settings in fact don't open it up because we don't need it right now um, in our our queue you can open that up let's make it full screen and then the attenuation settings is there you can select that and select our door attenuation and just save and close that and then in here no actually sorry back in the door blueprint we need to go down here on the side here and the attenuation settings are there select that in there as well and then in the event graph so we need to do is select um, our begin overlap move and our end overlap move them out the way give us a bit of room and what we're going to do is we're going to get a sequence and we can copy and paste that down here because that's going to want it as well and we can slide put number two into there number two into there kill that one off alt click on that one to kill it off now on these ones we're going to go play sound at location nice and then this one is going to go up there as well boom and now if we've slicked if we, well if we zoom in let's select the audio file which was door slide right so click in door you can select the queue there hit the down arrow on there uh, we'll give you some attenuation settings just select our attenuation there now if we go to the view port um, you can see here if we select that little speaker the Q you can see two massive spheres so what we want to do is open up our attenuation file and let's try and make room on here if we go back to the slidey door right um, so obviously that's way too big. I'm going to switch this linear down to natural sound because it just sounds better. And then these two values here, we want to ch adjust these, maybe that one to about there and then bring this one down, I don't know, to about there. And it, this is literally just trial and error because even I don't understand how this this thing works because it seems straightforward enough but it just doesn't, doesn't work the way you expect it to. So I'm going to save that and compile. Let's play it. And let's have a look. All right, so the door's over here. Yeah, we're not getting any audio. See, this is the this is the issue here. Let me just refresh that and see what happens there. There we are. There we are. Perfect. I know if you. Yeah, that's how I like it. You know, what you've got to take into account with effects like this, sound effects, is that they've got to be subtle. They've got to be quiet and they've got to be subtle. Because if they're too loud, it's gonna it's just annoying to the player. And I see that happening a lot on YouTube where people put videos, uh, like a footsteps, for example, and it's just like really loud, like tuk, 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 tuk. that gets really annoying very quickly. All sound effects like this, like you know miscellaneous sound effects like doors opening and stuff should be quiet and subtle because it will get really annoying it shouldn't stand out and go hey look i'm a sound effect of the door look listen to me you know it shouldn't be screaming at you it should be subtle in the background just subtle detail so that it adds to the effect of the game but not you know screaming in your face so i like that as a sound it's kind of very quiet and subtle you can adjust it like, um, you know, there's also where is it if you go into the queue you can adjust the sound there like 0 0.5 knock it up to 1 if you like that's a bit more that's a bit louder so you can see what that uh we play that again. Yeah, you notice there that it's actually playing as soon as I press play, which we don't want that. I'm pretty sure 
you can actually delete this. Let me try deleting that. Oh, let me select it. Right, delete that. Click Control Play. Yeah. So there you go. So that's it. You want to delete that speaker. Um, I'm not 100% on these this audio thing, but from what I can see, that speaker is basically just useful to adjust these settings. You can get a visual of of the fall off uh, distance of the sound. Um, but if you keep it in there, it seems to play as soon as you press play, um, which obviously you do not want. And that's more for atmospheric sounds. You want playing straight away. Sound effects, yeah, pretty sure it is fine if you just delete it um, after you've you know adjusted the, the sound fall off distance. Um, so it's, it works fine. Let me just close. Let me save that. Close it. Uh, close that. Go back here. Save all. And this should work fine. There you go. And you can you can tell that the sound is coming from that location. Because if I adjust the camera position, it um, you know the stereo sound picks up. There you go. I uh, hope that was useful for you. I'll end it there. That's basically how you do sound. So it's nice and easy, really. It's just setting up, getting the audio. The hardest bit is actually, you know, trimming the audio, making it, uh, get, finding a good audio um, sample for it. Once you've done that, bring it in, set up the cue by right clicking, and then, you know, the attenuation, link them together. And as far as the blueprint is concerned, I mean, it is straightforward. It's all you're literally doing is chucking that in there. Um, in between the begin overlap and end overlap and the, the regular blue uh, code that we had before. So three nodes, that's it. Awesome. I'm out. See you again. Ciao, blau.